Hello, I'm Applause, and did you enjoy the side-scrolling sections from Link's Awakening? Good! In that case, let's play For the Frog Bells Toll, also known as, uh, Keru no Tame ni Wanaru, which I'm probably horribly butchering. Be the way, this game did not get released in North America, but it got released through a translation from people, who well, I'll link to in the description. Uh, no, no, let's start. No, I said start. Fantastic. Okay, so first we name our main character, uh, which is one of the two people on the title screen. But who? Name him Sid, name of all real winners. Oh, we already start off on a bad foot. Oh well. Show him who's boss, Prince. I'm just gonna refer to the main character as the prince for the rest of the game. Well, or for the game. And this is the Prince of the Custard Kingdom. They do a lot of fencing. Oh. Smart. Pro tip, don't run into walls when sword fighting. It's just not a good idea. It's a good way to stab yourself. They're equals in everything, except for combat. Yeah, the prince needs to practice that, and 56 to 0 is kind of pitiful. Starting to think you're using the legal sword fighting inducing drugs, Prince Richard. Mm. Maybe it's mithril or something. Oh? Well, at least we're straightforward and we know who the protagonist is, or er, the antagonist is from the start. Oh, she's been kidnapped, of course. Because that's how video games work. Princesses only exist to be kidnapped. Otherwise, it's point you even had a princess. You, you just have queens. Except for Zelda. Well, usually she's kidnapped, except for that one time. Well, we'll usually get she gets kidnapped towards the end, but still. Alright, now we're off to adventure. Or not. Oh, no need to be an asshole about it. God, what a dick. Friendly my ass. Yeah, well, I'm sure there must be another ship around here. Is it over here? No. Uh, apparently the prince already knows where another ship is. It's right over here. Oh, wait, uh, I guess we can't get on. Oh, the fuck we can! We have money, and money talks. Yeah, yeah I know, screw the rules, money, blah, blah, blah. It's totally not a six-year-old joke. <laughs> oh, where are you going, pal? You're gonna forget your money. Oh, well. Well, I guess he probably doesn't need it. Oh, well, I hope so. If not, then... Oh, there he is. Hope we can get back on the land. That'll be good. And he can have all his money, and we didn't just throw away a butt-ton of money. Should have hackled him down. Probably would have went us down as a half-eaten sandwich or something. Oh, well, people know who I am. That's good. For some reason, video games, is just... Your royalty, if you're the protagonist, just doesn't get respect. For more on that, see Fire Emblem, where random bandits just want to kill you for some reason. Oh, how'd they do that? Or are you not gonna tell us? Yeah, they don't really, uh, I don't think they explain directly about what happens. Oh, well, okay. Well, if the prowl's just right there, then sure. Why not? Couldn't be too hard, right? Oh, I well, thank you. I see you notice my amazing cape. No, 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 it's cool, because we got the power of money on our side, and everyone knows you can do anything if you have money. Even fly. Oh, well, thank you very much. I appreciate the compliment. <laughs> I like how everyone just ran away when he got mad like that. This game is full of a lot of little silly moments like that. If I had one word to describe the game, it would definitely be silly. Do you have anything to say? Also, fun fact, um, the engine of this game was actually used for Link's Awakening. 
um, you're going to see a lot of things that would go on to be used in Link's Awakening in this game. <laughs> and I'm here gracing you with the glory of my amazing cape. Oh, I thank you. I don't know why a kid has a bottle of wine, but whatever. You're just a terrible mother giving your five-year-old wine. Uh, here, take all of my money. Here you go. All of it. I'm sure, I'm sure we won't be needing that in the future. Oh, we won't be needing that in the future. We get it right back. Yeah, it's really nice that they start you out with enough money. Yep, yeah, that sure is great for things to do in games. Starting us out with a lot of money. Makes me feel good about myself. Wait, what? <laughs> that's, that's great. When you're in trouble, drink the wine. Drink your problems away, just like in real life. That's your lesson for today. This game teaches some fantastic lessons. Oh, thank you. No, maybe I'll take a moment out and and write down all my problems. Ah, well, okay. Duly noted. And over here we got these uh, these slug enemies. Uh, this is... Well, I'm reluctant to say it's an RPG, but it has RPG-like elements. If you come from the family of people who hate RPGs, well, this is probably how you interpret them. Like this. Yeah, combat is, um, it's very simple. Um, you see, when you get into a fight, you get a very cartoonish uh, cloud of dust, just like that. And from there, the game will calculate your speed, um, which is how many times you get to uh, strike at an enemy in one quote-unquote turn, and, um, and your attack, which is, um, you know, how hard you hit them. So here we got the slugs, which go in pretty easily. Uh, you don't have to worry about them. Um, just make sure you, um, well, I, I don't want to say budget, but keep in mind how hard or how much you're fighting the slugs. Um, yeah, because a lot of this game is all about making sure you don't get hit or knowing when you can and cannot get hit. Oh, I'll just take these items. We've got a life stone, and that's fantastic. It increases our life. Life bar hearts get a little bit bigger and that's that's pretty swell yeah that, that, that's how we uh that's how we get our stats up Ooh, and we get a bronze sword it lets us hit it let it, it lets us hit the enemies even harder and it can knock away weak enemies like that if you've ever played earthbound before uh it works sort of like how if there's no feasible way that an enemy could beat you then uh, you'll just knock away. And these are uh, are wonder balls. Uh, they restore your life along the way, and that's pretty swell because there aren't any spells in this game. This is a very, very simple, straightforward game, and there's nothing to do over here—at least not yet. Kind of wish you can cut down these bushes, though. Oh well. All right, let's. Oh, but I'm the prince. Just, just let me in. I make your salary and. I don't even know how much you get paid. Bring it. Yeah, if you came here before you got the bronze sword or that uh, power up, then uh, well, you couldn't have beat the guard. You would just lost. Pay for this? Fuck you, pal. I got the money to pay for this. I'll pay for this as much as I fucking want to. Ooh, a map. That'll be pretty handy for knowing where we need to- uh-oh. Earthquakes. I know all about these. I live in California. Don't know why I needed to tell you that, but... Not like it was inappropriate, but... Okay. Ooh, Eclair Palace. Well, I do like me some Eclairs. Hey, wait a minute. This doesn't have any Eclairs in it. Well, that's fine. That's not what we came here for, I guess. Oh, hey you. Well, not really, no. Have you seen the princess? Or is she in another castle? No, no, she's in this castle. No, really? Did he have a pompadour and was really pompous? Oh, wait. That didn't rhyme at all. 
Oh, okay. Well, we'll make a note of that. Alamoda is a place off to the left, I believe. No, the right. Yes, Alamoda is off to the right. Okay, cool. So I guess we'll just have to have to let down the bridge. Okay, well, no problem. I'm sure it must be around here somewhere. If you played Link's Awakening, this would already be looking pretty familiar. Only, you know, I already have the equivalent of the rocks cape on my fancy cape here. Uh, you go side to side, um, although everything functions very similarly to before, only you only have permission um, to go left and right. Oh, wait, no, I can't go over there quite yet. Or, or rather, I don't have the health to go over there quite yet. Probably should have thought about that before we walked in, but whatever. Can't move that rock over there, though. Such a tease game. Don't put things in my way that I can't do yet. No point in going up there. And I believe that door is locked. No? Okay. Well, we'll get that treasure some other time, then, I, I suppose. Ah, bring it on, guard. Bad guard. I'm gonna beat you up. And for people who despise Final Fantasy, I'm sure you imagine combat looking just like that. Only, you know, you don't have to hit A. If anything, it saves you time. I think I can take these guys right now, or at least I hope so. Yeah, okay, I should be able to take the next guy with half a heart remaining. There we go, you're dead too. Shouldn't have fucked with the prince, you should know better. Oh, no, can't go over there. You'll drown to death. Because video game characters cannot swim. Ooh, we get a power stone. Never played that game before, but we are stronger, and that's pretty fantastic. Oh, wait, oh crap. I only have one heart. Uh, hmm. Well, I guess we'll just try to fight him. Ha! <laughs> Take that. One down, two more. Oh, okay, well, little did they know they could have beat me up. Phew. Lucky breaks all around. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about when I say you sort of need to uh, economize, or, well, that that might be the word. Uh, economize how much, or, or keep in mind, rather, how much combat you get into, because, in a way, how much health you have versus what enemies you need to fight kind of makes this into a bit of a puzzle game. Uh, I guess you can very loosely describe it as a platforming puzzle game, I, I guess. Um, we're at the very least an adventure game. Ah, we got plenty of money. Let's just bribe him. Just tell me. Money, women, men, they're yours. Oh, well, fuck you, guy. Instead of getting money, you'll just get a fist to the face. Or a boot to the head, rather. Alright, we beat the first boss. That was easy, right? Yeah, this is a very, uh, a very easy game, if you will. And this is the switch, the bridge switch. So let's just hit that, and then fancy things will happen that we need to do, because it's a broken bridge. Yeah, in three, we should be able to cross. That'd be, that'd be pretty sick if we could cross the bridge. Alright, now let's just go back to the start, and actually, I think I'm... I'm actually going to heal up. I'm not sure if you need to, but, well, I don't want to die. And if I do die on the way back, uh, then, well, you can know what the death animation looks like. <laughs> no, 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 we can, uh, we can just go up. Pretty cool. Do, do, do. Ah, I love this game. It's really great. Really a classic. Alright, next time on Let's Play For The Frog Bells Toll, now that the bridge is up, we'll cross it into Alamode and see where Prince Richard is.